Before I properly sit down and type out the first draft of a script, I make notes of the key elements from start to finish. It usually looks like this, a beat list, which is essentially the film written in bullet points. So this has worked so far for writing shorts, but recently I started writing a feature and needed to find a new structure that would help keep me on track. I came across this, a list of plot points you can fill in for your film. To check if it worked, I decided to throw in some classic films to find out if it followed the same structure. They did, all of them did. Every single film I tested followed the same pattern in some form of another. So let's talk about it. Act 1, Ordinary World. It will show your main character going through their usual lives, sometimes quite boring. In Back to the Future, Marty is in high school in 1985. In The Matrix, Neo's ordinary world is actually inside The Matrix. Incident. This is the event that changes your character's ordinary world. It shakes up what they're used to. In Back to the Future, Marty sees Doc get shot. In Breaking Bad, Walter White finds out he has terminal cancer. Call to action. Now that their ordinary world has been flipped, our character must decide to take action going against their natural instinct. Walter White in Breaking Bad can't pay for his cancer treatment. His call to action involves making a lot of money fast to leave for his family after his death. This causes him to start cooking meth. But the call to action can be as simple as starting a band to impress a girl, just like in Sing Street. Refusing the call. But your character may refuse the call to action. They might not be ready for their world to change. In The Lion King, Simba refuses to go back to Pride Rock to stop Scar until a second incident sparks his destiny. Refusing the call doesn't have to be a straight up refusal either. Sometimes it can be undiscovered or misdirected. Peter Parker got his superpowers and his first call of action was to try and win money wrestling. He didn't discover his true call to action until his arrogance got his Uncle Ben killed. Which brings me to the next thing. The second call to action. With Uncle Ben dying because of Peter's actions, his personal blame gives him the reason for putting on the mask and becoming Spider-Man. In The Lion King, Simba's second call to action is when Rafiki leads him to his father's spirit in the sky. Act 2. Arrive in the New World Just like the ordinary world in Act 1, this can mean many different things. The new world to Neo is the dystopian future, the real world, where humans are fighting machines. To Walter White, it is the drug world. To Will in Goodwill Hunting, it is the academic world. Within the new world, they are committed to the task at hand. For now. Meet the locals. In the new world, your character will be introduced to new people. In Gladiator, this is where Maximus beats the other slaves for the first time. In Back to the Future, Marty meets his mother and father in the 1950s. And in Cars, Lightning McQueen meets the residents of Radiator Springs. Hairy Mentor The Hairy Mentor is someone that will guide your character through the next stage of their story. In Rocky, it's Mickey, then Apollo. In The Matrix, it's Morpheus. For Batman, it's Alfred. Then we've got Dumbledore, Gandalf, and Red and Shawshank Redemption. The list goes on. They don't always have to be a hairy mentor, but they are most likely older and wiser than the protagonist. Practice battles. Your character needs to be challenged internally and externally throughout the film. Some battles they will win and some they will lose, but it's all preparing them for what is to come. This could be the point where the new people in your character's life meet the people from their old world. In Silver Linings Playbook, Tiffany introduces Pat to her sister, which doesn't really go very well. In a sports film, this is not just the games leading up to the big championship game. It's all of the training montages beforehand and the school and family challenges they are having. Approach Bad Peak. The pressure is now building up on your character and things are starting to spiral out of control. In Lord of the Rings, the burden of the ring is getting too much for Frodo. In Back to the Future, time is simply running out. Life or Death. This is the point in your story where your character is backed into a corner and has two options. Fight or flee. In Stand By Me, this is where Gordy and Chris finally stand up to Ace. In Toy Story, this is when Buzz is strapped to a rocket and Woody teams up with the freaky toys to save Buzz and to scare Sid away. Seize the trophy. This is the part where your characters achieve what they originally set out to get. A lot of the time, their original goal isn't what they want in the end as they've grown through the journey of the film. In Stand By Me, they find the dead body of Rhea Brower, but they realise it wasn't what they were expecting. In Back to the Future, Marty seizes the trophy by making his parents fall in love, so he doesn't disappear. Act 3. Chase back home. At this point, your character has given up and reverted back to their original life, or has been forced to relive their previous life before they had that call to action. They are given an epiphany moment and grown back stronger than ever before. In Inception, Cobb is forced to return to Limbo, where he and his wife once built their own world. In La La Land, Mia gives up and heads back to her parents' home after her stage play fails. The final battle. This is where your character will win everything they've always wanted, or realise their life was better off before. 
In Goodwill Hunting, Will realises that if he wants to get the girl, he's got to leave his current life behind. In a superhero film, they always save the world. And in the final battle of every sports film, they either win or lose the championship game. In Toy Story, the final battle wasn't actually saving Buzz from Sid. It was actually when Woody and Buzz needed to catch up to Andy's moving van, otherwise they would be lost forever. In Back to the Future, after Marty gets his parents to fall in love, he must get back to the DeLorean and Doc must connect the lines before the lightning strikes to get back to 1985. Return to the Ordinary World Your character has returned to their original life, but they have grown through the journey of the film. The last scene tails off and gives the audience a black and white contrast of the protagonists, where they came from, who they were, and who they are now. Fade to black. You don't have to follow these points to the letter, you know your character may never need a hairy mentor or get chased back home, but it gives your audience a familiarity to your story, so once you know the rules, then you can break them. Thanks for watching, we've provided a PDF version of the pop points for you to download, also links to a few websites we used to help create this video, go check them out, and again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.